verification of cash in hand generally the cash in hand shown in the balance sheet includes the following items namely cash balances in hand petty cash balance in hand cash in transit that is cash is not in any registers it is in transit cash with agents cash at branches balance of stamps in hand sometimes a certificate from management showing cash in hand is sufficient but in majority of the cases it may not be enough so the auditor should count or should attempt an on the spot counting of cash in hand is required at the last day of the accounting period if there is any mismatch between cash balance shown by the cash book as opposed to the actual cash on hand the auditor should get a certificate from cashier explaining the reasons for the difference next is verification of cash at bank auditor should verify cash at bank by comparing the balances in the bank passbook with the balances shown in the cash books bank column it is understandable that for cash at bank some of the checks issued might not be presented for payment and out of the checks paid into the bank only some may have been sent for collection moreover there there may exist debit entries or credit entries in the cash book and pass book without an equivalent entry in the other books so in order for the auditor to find out the correct amount he should prepare a bank reconciliation statement at the end of the accounting period verification of bills receivable as on the date of the balance sheet the auditor should obtain a list of bills receivable and it should be checked in such a way that comparisons are drawn with the bills receivable in the impersonal ledger or the bills receivables book the auditor should also make sure that the bills in hand is subsequently encashed or uh, after the balance sheet date by taking confirmation from cash book or bank pass book so this completes valuation of current assets thank you